We purchased it because my husband saw a picture and fell in love, quite literally. And my husband said, oh. So we came down to have a look at it. And he had always had an entrepreneurial spirit. So we were thinking, that's a good idea. We'll have a house, maybe have a house. It had eight apartments. At that time, I was quite interested in business and the stock market. Uh, and I took the Globe and Mail. And I'm looking through, and there's this picture of this house by Jarvis Real Estate uh, in the newspaper. And I had an actual picture of the house. And I just said, Linda, I said, there's the kind of place that I, I'd like to own someday. We couldn't make a deal the first year. The following year, we had a full interview with the lady that owned it, and she agreed to sell us the house. We realized what a special house this was. But as we did a lot of, we did almost all of the renovating ourselves over the years. And as we did that, we were able to see the structure of the house and what really, it, how much of a gem it really was. We felt we needed to do something special with it. It was either A, as older people, sell it and have an auction, or B, try to keep it intact as much as possible uh, for the community. Is it possible to make it into a museum? What we are trying to do is have people interested in, in uh, in preserving and, and us in sharing what we here have in Grimsby and it's, it's very unique. This is the oldest house open to the public in Upper Canada or Ontario. Nothing, there's a couple others that are close but none that were started in 1788 when this house was started. And I think that's a, a major thing for uh, the province and Canada and uh, Grimsby area, Niagara to have uh, available to the public now. When people come, what they can expect is a visit to a special place in Ontario, certainly Grimsby's history and Ontario's history. We have tour guides who, personal tours. So that is, we think, a very special thing. They are all volunteers except uh, one who fortunately has been sponsored by a federal grant each year we have had a federal grant to sponsor our summer student. So I am a, a history student at Brock University. I was in my second year and I thought that it'd be a good idea to get some work experience in my field. Heard about this job opening. I came and I applied. I knew that they had just opened that year in 2016 and I thought I've had other jobs in the past that really didn't have anything to do with history so I thought that this would be kind of the perfect foot in the door to get uh, a historical job in the future. I have worked in history and museums and historic sites um, for as long as I can remember. Even when I was a little kid, I used to volunteer with my mom. And when this opportunity came up, I was thrilled that I could be a part of it. Um, I just love big old houses, and I love telling people about uh, Canada's history. Well, we moved to Grimsby about three years ago and the manor was just being open to the public and they were looking for volunteers. I've always been interested in Canadian history, perfect opportunity. We're open from the summer now, right through to Labor Day weekend, closed on Mondays only. So other than that, we're open 10 to 4.30 every day. So people can come at any time and have a guided tour. June 10th, it's going to be 200 years since the Victory Ball celebration that was held here on June 4th, 1818, after the War of 1812. And we're going to do just a little commemoration of that, of that day from 1.30 till 4 o'clock p.m. on June 10th, it's a Sunday. There's going to be a ribbon cutting ceremony at two o'clock and we're gonna have the Lincoln and Welland Regiment come. They're going to be presenting the colors. Barry and Linda are going to cut the ribbon. Tickets are $25 a person and you can call uh, the manor or send us an email to buy your ticket. 